politicians to meet Run DMC and induct them into the motherfucking rockin' Roll Hall of Fame even though I Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a vlogging thumbnail and that's gonna be pretty much easy. Now as you can see in the picture itself that is me a um, couple of years back and I first learned horse riding over a mountain cliff so I'm just gonna use that image. I'm gonna make a beautiful looking thumbnail, a click worthy thumbnail like this and I'll show you guys I would also like to make a series about it. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you do want more episodes like that, please hit the like button down below. You can also download this. If you want to, you can also download the link will be down in the description. So, also one more credit to Timper's 10k GFX for one stock images and one light flare that I'm going to use today. So this can be almost fun in any visual pack you have, any graphic, any Photoshop graphic pack you have. It's going to be available in there. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this. So without any further ado, let's hide this layer. And we're going to select the image you want. So you have first of and the foremost thing you have to make sure that whichever image you're selecting should be having that attractiveness like the click worthiness so as this thumbnail as this picture itself looks like yeah he's learning something uh, so, something new they do want to share with the audience and so in this for example I made a, a for example um, uh, like I uh, do horse riding so and I want to share with my audience like yes I have learned horse riding today so I'm gonna click a picture that literally relates to that so I have this picture right here, so I'm just going to copy it uh, to my um, th right here on the canvas. The canvas size is as usual 1280 into 720p. Uh, I'm sorry, 1280 into 720 and so don't mess with that. Also you have to make sure that whichever uh, part of the picture you select must be relevant. You can cancel out irrelevant things. Now I can't cancel out this guy right in the picture with me because he is my tutor. So. Anyways, uh, what we're gonna do next is basically pen tool this out. Now I know this can be a great difficult job to do if you are new to pen tooling, but it is worth to learn pen tooling. Now I'll be making a good tutorial basically just based on pen tooling. And for this, I'm just gonna use the image that I used previously. Now I had this cut out. Now if you want to uh, learn some a quick brief about how pen tooling is, so it's gonna show you in this. Now if I want this part, I'm uh, just gonna select two points out here. I'm gonna drag it so it basically, you know, overlaps the outline that I want to select in the picture. And the same, we're gonna do this right here. And in this way, you basically have to fill in. You have to make an outline of it. And then all you have to do is like example. If I select this, you have to make sure you click on Make Selection Tool, click on zero, and you basically get this. Now all you have to do next is just press Ctrl J together and it's going to make another layer as like this. So in this you have to make a whole image of yourself in the picture to highlight um, you know what the thumbnail what your video is all about that I use. And it's pretty much gonna paste in Ctrl V paste it. So as you can see I have this cut out already and what I'm gonna do is gonna bring this right here in this way so that's almost like fits in perfectly right here and then I'm gonna go control J so if we, we have two copies right now and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna select this copy like the or, the original copy pasted one we're gonna go and click on stroke and we have to select the brightest stroke as possible like example a red Remember in any of the vlogging thumbnails you have to make sure to use more of solid colors rather than more of gradients because solid um, colors you know basically you know pops out and helps to gain you know the click worthiness characteristics and stuff so uh, now what we have done is basically select the other uh, copy of it and we're gonna go click on stroke again and as you can see it double strokes it so we're gonna select another bright color right this here and just gonna edit this we're gonna make it a little bit bigger in size um, I guess a 15 is good and uh, click on OK and then just going back to the copy we're gonna have it to be as 11 no that's too much I guess um, 6 is fine yeah 6 is fine absolutely perfect so as you can see we have it right here uh, you can select both of them and you can now adjust it how you want it because you can see a few of the things around here okay so I'll cover it up properly well so now don't worry about this guy right here. The thing to show is basi uh, ba basically like you have learned how writing and that is the topic of your video and that should basically go out to the audience there. 
So but once we have this, now it's all time to basically work on this background. So you have to now go to um, add a, you know, adjustment layer. So just click on this adjustment layer right here by selecting the background that you have and go to exposure now we don't we are not messing with saturation and stuff like that we're just messing with exposure you know to basically give a good exposure to it and just gonna decrease the exposure um it's going to i guess i'm um, gonna work with the offset i guess a little bit down i'm gonna increase i guess decrease the gamma correction um you know this should be basically as per your preference and once that is, once you're good with that, you know, what of the, uh, uh, the good settings, the next thing you have to do is basically add uh, the vintage type to it. So just make an atelier on the top of it and just select the brush. Now select the brush of black color. Make sure size is uh, quite big enough to just fit in the canvas in one go. And all you have to do is just basically make these borders with this brush. Make sure you have the feather to be at zero. Uh, once you have that, now just reduce the size. And there we go. So the main portion is highlighted. And all you can do right now is also you can do one thing is basically um, to, you know, bring this tutor out uh, as he taught you. So it's going to be the main focus of, ev of the picture itself. The next thing you can do probably is ju just go and select your um, pack and uh, any graphic pack you have. You may find in uh, almost like 90% um, of all graphic packs does have this stock image. So just control A, copy and control V. And if you don't have, you can always go to Timper's channel and you can like um, just got it. No shout out. This is like this is my personal preference and bring it on the top of all layers and click on soft light or overlay up to you you can select overlay but that's too harsh on the image itself so if you just select a soft light it is much better uh, once that is done you all you have to do right now is just go back again and select the light flare now this light flare is also most common in all the packs so just control a copy and control v and if the, uh, you can see this black image again just click on screen or lighten uh, screen you can click on screen or you can click on lighten both have same effect but screen uh, does show a good effect to it so uh, once you have that selected uh, make sure to bring it right to the fist now that's the highlight part like I'm I'm having the fist up I'm having the fist up so you can uh, put this in any part you want to highlight you know bring the viewer attention so there we go we have that um, you know just a good uh, highlight there you can also do control J to basically just you know duplicate the layer basically to highlight it more and when that is done pretty much you are done with that and uh, the next thing you have to do is to add um, the glow to it and it's just like more of lighting to it so we can add this lighting up in the in the new layer as we see made, made a new layer we're gonna add the lighting on the top of it and just a bottom a little bit down from the bottom right here and we're gonna just um, reduce the opacity down to almost like 20 30 20 20 to 30 is any it's good so as you can see it does makes a good difference to it so uh, pretty much once that is done all you have to do now is to add text uh, just gonna add text and then finally we're gonna mess with some saturation and things to just look so it just looks like good um, you know adding a good color grading and stuff we're gonna just work out with that but before that we're gonna work on the text so click on the uh, text tool and you can add in the text. Now I'm using the font timeline because it is bold and I pref I recommend all the uh, vloggers out here to use as bold text as possible in your thumbnails because they pop out a lot. So I'm going to use like uh, what I used here in this. Um, I used in my opinion, let me have a look. Uh, Okay, so I've added on the on, on the top of it, and I've added my new friend horsey. So same, we're gonna add in right on the fifteenth. Uh, I'm gonna make a new layer on the base. So my new friend horsey, I'm gonna add in my uh, new. Again, in my new in one line, and there we go. So as you can see, added that um, looks good. So what we're gonna do right now is to arrange these as in the effective way as possible. We're gonna hide these for now and just gonna add in this oops. 
okay we uh, we're gonna select that and we're gonna resize it a little bit so a little bit more right here and we're gonna put in this uh, right here now we can take the friend and I guess gonna put this on the top now this remains all in the creativity now this is just an example of me doing it so in this way you're gonna make it and finally once you have satisfied with what you have done um, double click on it um, now make sure you don't add too much of gradients I like just avoid adding gradients to you know most of the vlogging thumbnails because uh, it should come out because if you add gradient basically tends to blend in the atmosphere of you know the picture and stuff so make sure you avoid it as much as possible keep it simple and keep it bold and keep it popping out so in that way you uh, all you have to do now is select all the layers and click on rasterize type so once it is rasterized to type again uh, increase the size a little bit more and um, you can rotate it a bit if you want to like in this way or before rotating it if you have finalized the text I recommend uh, making it uh, to a smart object there we go because uh, you will basically avoid all the pixelation as you can see you can avoid all the pixelation it happens here basically so uh, now you can do one special thing that I basically love to do is use this um, polygon lasso tool I guess so it's polygon yes yeah, polygon la, la polygon polygonal lasso tool I'm sorry for that shit so um ju just go just make a new layer you know if you just basically roughly just outline this out uh make sure avoid hiding the subject too much and press control oops uh we're gonna go fill this so once you have this selected make sure you select the new layer that we have created and select any bright color in this case i'm gonna use the red and just gonna just gonna fill this as you can see it fills in the layer itself bring it down and as you can see you have to select the layer itself gonna go and click on multiply so you get this amazing red filter look and that is seriously cool so when that is done pretty much just control T and you can mesh around with this so now let me show you how to mesh mesh around here you can adjust this mesh as possible make sure you don't hide the subject that is the horse too much and in my opinion uh, when you do when you do make uh, these type of thumbnails you should make sure that you should have a tinge of quality of you know um, clickbaitness because clickbaitness for vlogging is I guess a little bit of leverage they can they can use it because most of the times vlogging channels you know uh, they tend to become like you know if you really have a strong audience you have you know the capability to keep them together and you know, have the maximum watch time but if you don't have them I guess you can use the little bit leverage to basically add the little tinge of uh, clickbaitness to your title and stuff so that basically works out cool and as you can see right now it is done um, you can pretty much I just uh, forgot to have a good coverage uh, right below this um, as you can see right now should fill up everything so you can have that and I'm um, oh, sorry uh, pretty much for it we have done and now we have to make um, these highlights uh, the highlights triangles I call them highlight triangles so we make a new layer in that and gonna make these triangle with the polygon lasso tool this is quite easy to do make simple triangles like this use a brush and just fill that boom so if you just like go down right here you can see it gives a good effect to it once that is done now you can also add glow to it now it's completely a point you how you can do it so you're gonna merge these two layers and as you can see you've merged it now just go and click on a uh, double click on it I'm sorry just double click on it and you can now add a glow to it now just add click on um, outer glow as you can see and click on blue color so something a dark dark blue and stuff you can create a good spread you can um, keep it I guess on multiply and just reduce it now you can reduce this to boom so you also have that one that I just had a special effect to it boom so once you have that as you can see this looks more of a clicking uh, thumbnail than most of the other ones like if you if you just post this thumbnail with a few text on it it may not look so solid but if you have this one this li literally increase the chances of your videos being getting clicked on it and finally as I told you gonna add a color grade now this completely depends upon you and let's see 
if we add a few of the UN saturation houses and this this completely depends upon you how you add it and I guess you should avoid adding too much of color grading and stuff but I guess if you add a bit of saturation it is completely fine just gonna increase saturation by six and I guess not messing with the vibrance of course uh, not messing with light as of course and I guess working with exposure mm, a little bit is fine I guess not too much and uh, okay we have it and also one thing you can uh, work on with is just basically use the eraser tool and uh, you know just select the layer that was the stock image and just remove this effect so it still stands out you stand out and you can also select all the effects to basically add on and just you know erase the part in which you are so this way you have it, a good chance of standing out so in this way you basically have it as you can see this was the earlier thing and this was uh, the now thing and also you can work on with these you can also reduce um, the opacity of the shadows we added this way you have a best clickable vlogging channel thumbnail if you do want more of such be sure to hit the like button down below and be happy to make more I'll be thinking of making a whole thumbnail genre series for just you guys making awesome thumbnails for you guys you know the template of this is down below you can easily download that it's from Mediafire or maybe on my cell file anyhow you can download it and also if you do like this video make sure to hit the comment section down below how you felt about how can I improve my situation more if you're watching this at last I may show you guys a cool thing now, if you do want to make a Drake banner like a public figurine banner as displayed on the screen at the moment you know make sure to hit the comment section down below also hit the like button and if this video hits a 20 likes I may be happy to make an amazing Drake public figurine template that uh, for just you guys and that I just made a couple of days back and as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one